Scott, we're hopping on Steam this week and we're checking out Survival Fountain of Youth. This is a, I'm gonna say, unique in its own right survival type game. We're uh, Spanish explorers and we're looking for the Fountain of Youth and we've shipwrecked onto an island and our job is basically to survive as best we can because the elements and the animals are coming after us. What did you think of this one, man? Yeah, this is really cool in the terms of the environment, actually. And that makes sense with any kind of survival game, but this is an island, of course, and it's not a very small island. And when you're exploring all of this, you're coming across native settlements, and that was really what kind of drove me through the game. I've played enough of these survival games where I'm kind of, I'm kind of over the building a camp thing, but having a mystery to move through, that was fun. Yeah, the, the objectives they give you in this game, the first hour is about as long as the tutorial should probably take you, and then they kind of leave you to your own devices. You can continue on with the objectives, and like you kind of are interested in just trying to solve this mystery, or you can just spend your time on the island exploring and trying to survive. There's elements kind of in both for everybody here. If you've never played a survival game, the difficulty here is high. It's not easy, especially when you first start out, to find certain resources because they're scattered all over this gigantic island. And it's not always easy to get around, especially if it's raining or it's sunny, because you can be sunburnt, you can be soaked. There's all these different elements that kind of get involved in how you're being affected on this island as you're trying to survive. And it's interesting, but at the same time, it is fairly run of the mill for these styles of games in this genre. So there isn't anything like completely unique and new here, but some of the things I did like were early on in the game when you first get onto the island, you actually get to select two things from your shipwreck to keep to bring with you. I thought that was a cool little element. There was a lot of choices there. Both of us actually picked two different sets of things, so I thought that was actually pretty unique and cool. You don't see that in all these types of games, but some of the things I wasn't loving, Scott, was the combat in this game with the animals was very clunky, and mm. just the overall difficulty level was maybe a little bit too high for people like me that don't play tons of these games. That is true. Yeah, a lot of the difficulty as you're trying to traverse the map comes from these animals, and a lot of the time you don't see them. I don't know how many times I walked into a snake and now I have to deal with the venom associated with that. And it's not such a big deal as long as you can find the right little, you know, flowers around and mix yourself your own medicine, but that's not exactly easy to do. And that wasn't nearly the worst part for myself, though. When I was trying to experience the building mechanics and go to create some sort of a camp beyond what just. I crashed with basically it was really hard to find any of that rope there's like a base material that you need to create rope to create just about everything else and without that it was really slow but I had a basically good time otherwise it was just kind of run the mill like you say and as I'm trying to push through I'm getting a lot of these nice vistas of the island but yeah. I didn't really ever feel comfortable with the island it was it was always a hostile place All right, Scott, our time with Survival Fountain of Youth is coming to an end. We had an overall pretty good time, but like we said in the review, you know, the genre kind of plays out the same way in a lot of these games. This one's unique in a couple ways. I thought the price point was pretty good at 20 to 25 bucks. So I'm gonna give this one a six and a half. There was enough here to really like, and if you're a fan of this genre, you might spend a ton of time here, but it isn't for everyone. What are you gonna give it? Yeah, I agree with you there. I'm right there with a 6.5 because I think if you are a fan of these kinds of games, you're gonna crush this one out pretty quickly. But if you're new to this kind of genre, I think you're gonna wanna choose maybe something a little easier. But other than that, I had a good time myself. Nice.